But uh, more, I don't know, are, are you the same as me? I'm beginning to ask myself if this weather is ever going to change, you know, so mm. with all the wind and rain mm. and the storms uh, that we've had over the past few days. Now, uh, so we have somebody live from New Zealand who is throwing, is going to throw and cast an eye on this, and this man is Ken Ring, who is fairly famous in Ireland over the past few months as well. Ken, you're very welcome. You're coming via Skype. Is there any end coming to these storms? Well, yes and no. Look, the stormy weather came about because of the higher tides than usual. In fact, the highest tides of the whole year were around the beginning of February uh, due to uh, two conditions of the moon, the fact that it was close and that it was new moon. Uh, but uh, look, I think more wintry weather to come, I'm sorry to say. I see Matt Aaron is also on board with some warnings of snow coming soon. Um, but I would say the worst time would be from this weekend to about the 19th. And after that, there'll still be rain and wind, but milder temperatures. And uh, so uh, not so much the snow, but the rain. And in the last week of February, I think daytime temperatures will be relatively mild. Uh, and But then you're going to go into March and it's going to be a cool spring. Yeah. Ken, you, of course, very famously predicted our uh, Arctic weather of 2010. You've written the Almanac for Ireland as well for 2014. And in that, you say that we may get snow in the third week of February of this month and maybe even snow again in March. Yes, I think so. Uh, you know, spring is... Uh, so do you want to talk about February or March? Uh, and I... Uh, I think the most wintry time is coming up. Uh, so probably over the following week, you're going to get the worst of the winter weather in terms of severe events. But after that, uh, it'll be uh, uh, turning milder. But then into March, you'll get the cooler temperatures, but you, you won't get the snow events. But I think in some places, we'll be saying that the coolness for March will, be, will approach record levels. Ken, uh, we'll forget about the weather and the storms at the, and the cold and the, fr the freezing rain and all that stuff. When is our summer going to come? Well, I don't think there'll be heat waves nor extended spells of you know, several summery days uh, like you had in a row. I, th I think that this time, sad to say, the longest dry spell will be in September. But uh, the heat will have gone by then. But, uh, and the warmest month overall will be August. But that won't be the month with the highest temperatures. So, uh, you know, the sun arrives in the third week of May and uh, for the second half of May, it'll feel like the seasons have changed. Uh, you'll get the uninterrupted 20s in the last week of June and then not again until the last 10 days of July. But really the best weather is going to be from the, around the end of, July, end of June to the beginning of July, which isn't that uncommon. Uh, I have July the 18th to the 30th mostly dry and sunny, and uh, the last week is the hottest of the summer, uh, especially around the 24th, That's we're talking about July now, um, and uh, the, about the 28th to the 31st, that's going to be up to about 24 degrees for you, I think. But, but yeah, from the um, uh, June uh, the 23rd to the 30th, and then July the 18th to the 30th, those are going to be the best times, I think, for you. Great. Thank you very much for depressing us for those few Thanks, months ahead. Ken. Ken, enjoy yourself, and we shall talk to you soon, I'm sure. Take care. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. We woke Ken up. It's probably the middle of the night there. What, yes, what, the what, next what time night. would that be in Sonia? What, what time would that be in?